localwebradio.fm. Your trusted voices on the Semiamu Peninsula. Welcome to the Mortgage Newscast with Jared Dreyer. Brought to you by Dreyer Group Mortgages. Now, here's your host. Well, yes, Eric Rills here, and I'm your host. And I'm here with Jared Dreyer, accredited mortgage professional and president of Dreyer Group Mortgages, a proud member of the Barrico Brokers Network. And today we'll be talking with Jared about Purchase Plus Improvement Programs. So we'll be discussing who this program is best suited to, the improvements that are allowed, and how this process differs from a regular purchase. Now, before Jared joins us, just as a reminder, that if you have questions or require assistance, you can reach Jared's team at Dreyer Group Mortgages at 800-687-9020. Again, that's 800-687-9020. Well, Jared, it's great to have you back on the call again today. Thanks a lot, Eric. Now, Jared, uh, why would a borrower participate in the Purchase Plus Improvement Program? Well, it's a great option, Eric, for home buyers who have smaller down payments and, you know, don't have the ability to, say, do extra money for renovations. And, of course, what we always want to do is if you go into a home and say you don't like the kitchen or the carpets or anything of that nature, what the Purchase Plus Improvements allows you to do is to do the renovations to suit your tastes and allows you to do that by borrowing extra funds on top of your mortgage to do so. Well, Jared, is this program for everyone? Um, no, it's not for everyone, Eric, but, you know, it does. it is good for people who are in the market and who can't find, you know, the right home to match all their lists, uh, you know, on their checklist. So what is required, though, of course, you may got to make sure that you do have money available to do the initial work. So you have to borrow off a cash or line of credit because the financial institution will pay the money back after all the work has been completed. Upfront legwork will be required, so you need to have a list of your improvements and quotes. And there's a limit on the total cost allowable, of course. And you will be reimbursed, as I mentioned before, after the work is completed. Now, Jared, uh, what restrictions are there to this program? Uh, there's three major restrictions, Eric, to this program. One is you need – it has to be owner-occupied only. And that means it's got to be your principal residence, so you have to be living in that property. Secondly, it's restricted to residential properties, so houses or townhomes or condos. And it's limited to a 20% increase of the purchase price to a maximum of 40000 So the maximum rental you're going to get out of the property is a $40,000 renovation. Well, Jared, you know, we're up against the clock, so let's go ahead and take our break here. And we'll be right back with accredited mortgage professional, Jared Dreyer. And when we return, we'll be discussing more about the Purchase Plus Improvement Programs. We'll be right back. The Mortgage Newscast with Jared Dreyer will return after a quick word from our sponsors. Take control of your financial future with Sound Investing with Byron Stryloff, Senior Investment Advisor and Chartered Financial Planner with over 30 years of experience on the Business Channel on localwebradio.fm. If you're struggling with a dental or oral health issue, be sure to catch the Healthy Smiles Oral Health Show with Dr. Norm Ickert on the Health Channel on localwebradio.fm. Buying or selling a home on the Semiamu Peninsula? Catch up on local market conditions on This Week in Real Estate with Lance and Connie Marples from Sutton West Coast Realty on localwebradio.fm. To schedule a face-to-face consultation, you can reach Lance and Connie at 604-538-8888. That's 604-538-8888. And visit them online at www.surreywhiterockhomes.com. Now, back to the Mortgage Newscast with Jared Dreyer on localwebradio.fm. All right, we're back with Jared Dreyer, and we're discussing what improvements are allowed under the Purchase Plus Improvement Program. Now, Jared, what improvements are allowed? Well, that's, I mean, that's a question we always get all the time, right, Eric, is like, what can I do under this? And what you can do is you can add a new roof, a new patio, or a new deck, you can update the kitchen or bathroom. 
Uh, you can update your windows so you get more energy efficient windows and doors. Uh, flooring is allowed, so whether it's carpet, laminate, or hardwood. You can, can add a garage if you need more space. And of course, paint, if you got to get the whole home repainted inside and outside, you can do that. And if it has an unfinished basement, you will have the ability to finish a basement as well. And one thing that could be noted, the things that are excluded is anything that can be moved. So anything that's sort of attached to the property. And examples of that are appliances like a fridge, stove, washer, or dryer. Those are items that they do not cover under the Purchase Plus Improvement Program. Well, now, Jared, under this program, uh, how is the down payment determined? Well, the down payment is based on the total value of the property plus the value of the improvements. So whatever you're going to put into the property, they're going to figure out what's the value of those improvements are going to increase in the property. So if you're putting down 20% or more of the property, then it's, you know, it's conventional, so it's 20% or more. The key thing is this is available for first-time home buyers, so insured is at least 5% of the property if it's an insured mortgage as well. Now, Jared, how does this process differ from, say, a regular purchase? Well, the reasons it differs is, um, you know, the lender requires a list of improvements and it requires contractor quotes in writing. Based on the purchase price plus the cost of improvements is that when the purchase completes, the funds for the improvements are held in trust at the lawyer's office. So the lawyer's office is the one who releases the funds after the work has been done. The borrower in the interim must use their own money to complete all the renovation work. Once the work has been confirmed, that it's been completed, which is going to be copies of paid invoices, and an inspection or appraisal may be required to make sure that the property has gone up in value, funds are then released to the borrower through the lawyer. Now, Jared, before we go today, uh, do you have any final thoughts uh, for our listeners? Eric, this is a fantastic program, especially for the first-time home buyer trying to get into the market. And it it's, gives, gives you, the first-time home buyer, more options when you're working with your realtor professional to get a better, broader inventory of homes. And it just allows you more flexibility to say, you know, I like this location, I like that, but I didn't like the kitchen, and here's an opportunity for you to renovate that kitchen under this program to make it the way you like it. Well, Jared, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. It is a fantastic program, and thanks so much for the conversation. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Now, for the listener, if you know someone who owns a home or is about to purchase a home and would have questions and would benefit from what we've talked about today, go ahead and share this podcast with them, and I'm sure they'll thank you for it. Now, of course, for you this, yourself, if you have mortgage questions or are considering refinancing, you can reach Jared's team at Dreyer Group Mortgages at 800-687-9020 and, of course, online at www.dreyergroup.ca. Well, Jared, as always, for myself, for the listeners, thanks so much for the conversation today. Thanks a lot, Eric. Thanks for listening. To learn more about Dreyer Group Mortgages, visit www.dreyergroup.ca. That's www.dreyergroup.ca. Or call 604 604- 536-3802. That's 604-536-3802. This episode is a production of Jam Media. For information on hosting your own web radio show, visit jammedia.com. That's www.jambmedia.com. The opinions expressed by our guest and host on localwebradio.fm do not necessarily reflect the views of Jam Media or its owners. No expressed or implied opinions of any product or service should be considered an endorsement or recommendation of any kind by Jam Media or its owners.